Hi there, I'm Kelmi and welcome everyone to this new episode of uh, me um, of Let's Play Twain Sim World. I wanted to try something new and I, um, I wanted to play a little bit of Twain Sim World. So I thought why not record myself and um, see if you like it. I so leave me a comment if you um, like this video and want me to continue uh, doing let's plays in this game as well. Or if you just prefer my um, to watch my London builds. I don't want to spam your uh, subscription feed too much. And my main project will still be uh, my London build. But I thought maybe try something new and uh, throw in some different games. So today we will take over this very beautiful model this networker um, between Rochester and Feversham yep it says Feversham up here mm, let's get in so we don't get delayed too much and then I say a few words about the uh, about the um, track we are going on today so I'm uh, yeah, setting up the train I um, think I need to, yes, continue loading passengers. I need to set this, go with brake to one to release some brake pressure. I think I can go forward now. And once we're done loading passengers, we can head off. So I'm playing this game with um, almost no overlay because I want it to be as realistic as possible. Um, I'm not an expert in this game, I'm, I'm barely started, I barely had any hours in, in simulation games. I barely played the predecessor in the train simulator, but I quite like this game. I like the graphics, I like the worlds they are modeling. And yeah, uh, so it, I'm, I'm far of, uh, I'm definitely not an expert in this game. So, uh, please, uh, yeah, uh, be gracious with my mistakes and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we are allowed to go 30, next time, the uh, next stop is Chatham. So we are playing on the southeastern high speed route, which uh, goes from St. Pancras all the way towards Feversham, and these would um, mainly consist of two parts. It consists of the high speed uh, part between uh, King's Cross and no, not I say King's Cross, King's Cross and St. Pancras. So the St. Pancras part. And then, how far are we? It's still 30, okay. And, and then we leave the high speed, or this track, we, we don't go there today, but oh, did I set up my lights? Headlights stay running, that's all right, okay. Um, this track leaves the uh, high speed route and um, heads off at, at Ashford International uh, on, on the existing tracks of the Chatham main line, I think it is, um, towards Feversham. The uh, Chatham main line continues towards London Victoria and all the non-high speed services are heading into London towards Victoria and I think Cannon Street as well. Also there are some Thameslink services on this line. Where do we need to stop? Up all the way up here. Well we still have some time. Still 45 seconds left so I can stop perfectly. And that looks good. Stop. Unlock left. Come on. Uh, yeah, uh, so far. So good. Um, yeah, I was, uh, where was I? I was telling you about the Chatham Maid line, which is served by these networkers by the I think we saw them passing earlier by the class uh, 
protocol called 478s, I think. Yes, 478s, electrostars. And occasionally some class 700s of the uh, Thameslink service also uh, go here. I think that's new ish. I, I don't know a date when, when they started these services, but yeah. Um, and yeah, and then there are the uh, high speed services. Uh, I can already close the doors, yeah, that's fine, good. And there are the high speed services which enter the uh, high speed tracks. The that were mainly built for the US star connection between St. Pancras and the Channel Tunnel and also um, served by the Javelins class 395 I think yes 395 should be the correct term for them and um, so they are um, dual um, I think bi-mode train is the right term for it how far am I allowed to go? I think I, I need to cheat a little bit. Yes, I'm still allowed only 30. All right. And um, they can run under um, overhead wires and um, also can run on third rail systems. They change their power supply uh, at Ashford Ash Ash International. And there are also commuter services, they um, provide a uh, nice high speed link into London. Yeah, um, now I can go up to 50, I think. I play the networker um, because it's nice and easy to play. They. Um, decelerate uh, quite good uh, they have a good acceleration as well uh, I think when I go 70 and I um, I wander off with my thoughts 60 I think yes good I wander off with my thoughts can I put the lights on to make them brighter light money Yes, now I can see more. Um, when I wander off with my thoughts, I can still break in time if um, I the station comes inside. So, they're quite easy and nice to play. I'd like to have these trains for my London map and transport fever as well. I think there are plans of um, some of my model, modder colleagues to, to make these trains. Uh, yeah, now we have the example where I was wandering off and need to break and I can still make it in time to stop. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Very forgiving trains. Uh, yeah, um, I think people are working on them so so they will be out eventually but uh, there's no time plan on that no oh i went into emergency i didn't want to do that unlock left there we go ah we are good in time that's good and yeah maybe time to have a look around that's a nice station with the, in the walls to the left, maybe um, something I can be inspired of in, in my builds. I'm, I'm, I like to play this game to um, get some inspiration of the track layouts, of the signaling and uh, yeah, them the signs and how to put them correctly. Uh, I don't know that much about um, how to operate. UK railways so so most of my knowledge here comes from uh, yeah comes from this game actually lock both yes please lock everything uh, no I need to yeah I need to wait oh, almost took off 
two seconds and there we go. Yeah, the seeing all this um, stations here, it's definitely um, time for me to do some more British platform modules, I think, some more generic ones. I've said this in a few other videos before that um, I'm quite tired of looking at these new modern King's Cross platform modules. The CCTV pole is something very specific to King's Cross. Um, some more uh, general uh, lamppost or something, something more generic would, would be nice to have for transport fever as well. But they have nice houses here. For me as a model, um, this game is also quite interesting when modeling trains because you have a live 3D model you can walk around and have closer looks at specific parts. Can You can have detailed look at bodies and stuff where it's hard to find pictures of. So when I did uh, King's Cross I was looking at the train simulator King's Cross that is out there. Um, just to see um, every angle and how they did it uh, to get some inspiration. 80, I think I'm only allowed, yeah, 75 um, max speed, which is 120 kilometers per hour. So I only can go to 75, but that should be all right. And yeah, it, it is nice to have these um, models to walk around and, and have a detailed look. that I'm not going over this max speed of this unit. Mm. Also when doing textures I uh, learned a lot um, on how to uh, apply some layers of dirt to the textures by looking at these models. And I like the sounds of um, the sound design in, in this game as well. So. Uh, at least you can compare what you came up with. You can't copy them, of course, but you can compare what you came up with and how you de designed your sounds. Oh, a flashing orange. What does that mean? I know that like two oranges means that the next signal will be orange and the signal after that will be red, but I don't know what flashing two oranges mean. Maybe they mean I... No, I'm not going to the right here. But let's break anyway because we need to stop there. <laughs> Maybe you guys can um, let me know in the comments what I'm supposed to do with um, with two flashing oranges, I mean, flashing lights on a signal. That's a nice little station as well. And it has a platform zero. Mm, this one is just flashing orange, one orange. Probably because it doesn't have more than one orange. Unlock left. Let's have a look around at this station as well. Ah, nice. Some buildings like this are missing in the game as well. Like more three-story buildings. I modeled a lot of two-story buildings, but not the town buildings. I have a nice surprise for my next building for you guys. I think you'd like it. Actually, I have two two more houses in mind. One is not really a house, but it's uh, yeah, and one one is a famous house. You don't know, and uh, um, yeah, you might like it. Also, for next live stream, I was thinking on um, modeling, starting to model some London landmarks. 
because we um, already did uh, quite a few. No, not quite a few, but we did two houses and we did the class 700. So maybe it's time to uh, lock doors and start. Maybe it's time to do more uh, to model more uh, more complex things. So I was thinking of starting um, to model the tower bridge, and obviously that um, won't fit into one live stream. That is a very complex building which requires a lot of texturing, and. Maybe I shouldn't accelerate that fast because of the flashing signal. Mm. Now that makes me anxious, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yes, I am going left, so I should definitely break because then oh it's only 60 for going left that's all right I'm already doing 60 so one was yellow so that means oh I'm allowed to go 80 here and one was yellow that means the next one will be red although that one is green obviously I got some sort of reward. Cool. So I was allowed 80 here as far as I know. So I can go my 75 max speed. Yeah, it's a very relaxing game for, for an evening. As I said, I turned off all the interfaces, so I at least focus a little bit on this game, otherwise I would drift off. Uh -huh. oh yeah, let's have a look outside. It's a nice unit, it's a 4 car unit. Not sure if, um, if I've ever been on one. Oh, is this red? No, but it says 40, and what does this signal say? That's something, that's, ah, that one says green, that's good. That's a bit annoying that it, it's covered by this tree. I think normally they would cut the tree back, so it's visible. But they said 40, didn't they? So I need to break anyway. Ah, okay, there is the next station anyway. And that's why we are out on the outer tracks because we need to stop here. So this looks again like a service where the left two outer tracks are going in one direction towards Feversham where the right two uh, go in the other direction. As far as I know that um, in the UK that is mixed I've seen both things like a pair and um, a pair of tracks that are slow tracks and then to the right a pair of fast tracks but also um, these mixed where the outer tracks are the slow and the fast tracks are where do I need to stop actually I think all the way up there I have a little bit of time I guess yeah that looks good unlock left So, yeah, I think um, this would be possible to, mm. that is a very basic station, which you could do in um, build in Transport Fever. We have these platform walls, the, the platforms it's, um, itself are missing, so that's on my to-do list, but <laughs> I need to say, tell you, my to-do list is huge, I have so many plans. And now that I started on YouTube, I, um, there were so many things to do. And I don't know how to fit them all into one day. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not getting paid for doing my mods. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to um, yeah, do my actual job as well. And... 
uh, yeah. Uh, ah, I need to stop. Yeah. So yeah. Right. Right now I don't have time to to do everything. But it's fun. The um, the YouTube is fun. Um, uh, engaging with the community and reacting to all uh, your comments and your thoughts that uh, is really engaging and uh, forms a fun part of my life right now. I need to whistle here. The W stands for whistle. So, um, yeah, if you like my videos and want to support my channel, um, currently I've set up a Patreon page where you can be a Patreon. Um, there isn't anything on there yet. That's only because I don't have any Patreons yet. So uh, I will start setting up um, and and delivering exclusive content for the uh, pa for for my Patreons as soon as I get the first Patreon. Um, you can also um, donate something via PayPal. I put both the, uh, links to that in the video description. And yeah, um, that would be, um, I would greatly ap uh, appreciate your support. That would help me out um, doing what I do. Help me out with the modding. The modding is very time consuming. And also um, the YouTubing. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, mainly for uh, London updates, Lon my, um, of updates of my London build. Next, uh, yeah, I think next episode will be around uh, King's Cross. Eighty, I can go eighty now. Probably missed a sign. Yes, there were probably a sign about seventy, and I forgot about it. But let's go. 75 now. We can make up some time. And yeah, um, subscribe to that channel then um, for, for updates. I will see if um, you guys like my, my train sim world let's plays as well. I maybe make a let's play series out of that. But it won't be um, more sophisticated um, than me just recording a session in an evening uh, because I don't really have that. That's really a side project for my side project. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun um, to do this, and uh, I get the opportunity to freely talk a little bit to you guys, uh, talk about my thoughts. Uh, and, and my projects that are currently going on in uh, in my life. Yeah, we think we a bit delayed now, but I think it's still eighty. That's good. And if I'm not, maybe maybe I'm going a little bit faster, and then I can make up some time. Hopefully the passengers won't fall when I'm breaking too hard. Where's the little stop sign? There is something, but that is for Six to ten cars, there's four cars missing. Sometimes they are missing, I don't like that. Uh, but I can orientate up there with the stop sign that tells me where I need to stop as well. I, I don't think I can turn this off, let me try. Nope, nope, nope. I'd love to turn uh, at least um, the... Uh, distance um, to the next station off so I need to know and remember where, where I need to go but for now I don't know the uh, the 
uh, um, track layout good enough to remember when to break for the station so that is quite helpful let's have a look at the station it has a nice car park it has a fence maybe we need more fences for, for uh, transport fever too as well maybe i'm doing some fence mods at some point but yeah i can't do everything lock both and then i think the last sign was 80 i need to remember these but 80 so i can go quite fast how far are we in the track ah okay so only two more stations I like to just listen to the sounds. Gives me a nostalgic feeling, especially during lockdown, so um, when I can't really go out and uh, ride these trains. And yeah, uh, doing a simulation is right now the only option to to get close to these trains. Oh, a high, um, a high speed train, a javelin crossing. That one is in the works as well as a mod for Transport Fever 2. I've been asked to uh, do the interior for that. And the interior modeling is almost done. I need to do the te um, texturing and I'm heavily procrastinating on the texturing. Can I turn that one off? I exit. I don't want to know. There we go. Now I turn this one on. There we go. Now I don't see anything. Um, yeah, that one is in the works as well. But um, it will take some time. It isn't the highest priority on my list, unfortunately. And as I said, I have so many things on my to-do list. I can't do anything, everything. One point four miles until the next station. What does it say here? I should whistle. Not sure if I get extra points for doing this, but we are playing a simulation, so uh, yeah, why not uh, try to be accurate? I think it's for that uh, crossing. For that. Oh, oh fuck. Beep. Shouldn't have said that. I'm going way too fast. Hopefully I'm not ruining my, my nice score. I think I didn't do that much of that many mistakes yet. Um, yeah, what I want to say is I'd like to play this game and, and get some inspiration about um, my builds for Transport Fever 2 as well. It really um, is interesting to see the vegetation and, and how they um, place the trees and yeah, uh, trying to improve on my, my track laying uh, capabilities. Oh, nice. We have some hedges here. That's a very nice little station. It has a small station building and an overpass. Not directly at the station. I think that looks closed. Oh no, there's a path going to the left. If I zoom in, you can see it. Um, if I zoom out, then the ground texture is covering it. Almost done. 
Let me have a look around here in the cockpit as well. I like um, how detailed they are. Uh, they really put some work in here in putting all these signs up and making you feel like in the real thing. There, there's really a lot of work in here. So, mm. when thinking about all I see in here in this cockpit is probably more detailed than two full trains in Transport Fever 2, so it would really take quite some time to make the detailed interior and this detailed cap. And also on the outside they have a really really detailed trains. I like walking around them and looking underneath. Maybe we can have a look in the end. I can have a look now. Yeah, the undercoat is really detailed and I like the texturing work on that as well. It has very nice bogies. Sorry for those weird angles, but yeah. So we have about 85 miles per hour here. I'm going 70, so I need to. Um, turn down the power a bit. So I'm not speeding again. There we go. Signal. Nice little houses here. I, I recently published almost the exact same house as here. 90. Can't go 90, unfortunately. Mm. Ah, yeah, and there we have a class um, 478 Electrostar. For was it two four cars or was it one eight car? I'm not sure if they have eight car units. We don't have them in transport fever as well, but the four seven sevens are a good approximation of that. Whistle. I bought the wrong one, and it says I'm only allowed sixty soon. Had to decelerate a bit. Two yellows means I have one yellow upcoming and then a red one, so should be fine. And that should is probably at the end of Feversham Station. I think uh, one signaling block is around half a mile big on this line. I tried to look this up and didn't find a source, so so maybe you can. You guys can tell me what if there is a, a fixed block signaling block length or is the if this varies from um, line to line. So, but yeah, I remember looking this up in this game and then um, using AutoSig in Transport Fever 2 to make the same block length. Glad I'm not going to the right, otherwise I would have been way too fast. Let's break a little bit more. Yeah, the signal normally indicates if you're going right or left, and I'm going straight. And that is the end of the line. Let's see if this scenario has something special for us. I remember being once in Feversham. But I don't know the rest of the area well. I've just um, driven through Feversham and uh, went out and had a, had a quick look into the... Oh, I need to stop here, actually. Not emergency, but yeah. And it's a very nice town. I recommend a small visit. It has a very nice old town center. It's a small town. Right over there is a nice town center. 
And yeah, um, I, I can say the train station um, looks quite like the wheel thing over there. So let's see what if I need to drive this train to a siding or if this scenario is done now. Let me see what it, I can see is scheduled. Yeah, shut down train. Ah, oh, that's it. And let me finish. So, yeah, there are some sidings here at the end of the station. Mm. Yep. So I don't know what the simulation would be if this service would just turn around here and continue, or if um. It would have been driven to a siding and shut down, I don't know. Otherwise I would uh, change, uh, set up this vehicle accordingly, so I turn off the lights and stuff. So it tells me to go to neutral, then it tells me to off, master key off. That's it. Do I have the lights on? No, the lights are off. Close the window. And open the door. There we go. And I think, yeah, that's about it. Let's have a look at the statistics in the end. And let's have a look at this wonderfully detailed model. The texturing is just amazing. So, yeah, my can learn a lot from this model. There we go. I was speeding here a little bit. That was where I went too fast and oh, in the end I missed the sign apparently. Let's see what medal I get. Does it tell? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's sad. But yeah, I think I did quite all right. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, let me know if you like the series and want me to continue. And also, if you haven't already, check out my London recreation in Transport Fever 2, which is quite an interesting project. So subscribe to the channel and yeah, see you in the next episode. Cheers. Bye.